Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to remove a stuck threaded pipe fitting using the split method. This is useful when more common techniques such as heating the fitting don't work. The first step is to cut the pipe fitting a little more than one thread length away from the end. To know how long the threads are, you can find a piece of threaded pipe of the same diameter and measure from there, then add a quarter inch or so for safety. I'm using a reciprocating saw to cut this malleable iron fitting and it's quite soft and cuts through pretty fast. For this next step, you'll need to switch to a finer tooth reciprocating saw blade. I'm using a 14 TPI metal blade. Make sure that you hold the reciprocating saw blade so it's exactly parallel to the pipe and very slowly make a slot through the fitting. Do not cut into the underlying pipe threads. Make sure to be extremely slow and careful. Cut a little bit, then have a look at the groove to see how deep it is and go a little bit more every time. Once you have cut almost all the way through the fitting, insert a large flathead screwdriver and twist. You should hear a little pop and the fitting will come loose. For larger pipe fittings, you can also use a cold chisel and hammer it into the groove to help split the fitting. Make sure to be gentle though. After you've got the fitting split, you can then use a pipe wrench or channel locks to spin it off. Let's take a closer look at this pipe fitting that we've split. As you can see here, I cut almost all the way through but not quite and then that final twist of a screwdriver was enough to split it open. These galvanized fittings are typically malleable cast iron, which is a pretty soft form of iron and is therefore easy to split like this. Now we can take a closer look at the pipe threads that we managed to salvage. There's a small scratch from where I split the fitting, however this will not be a problem and the threads will still seal using regular Teflon tape and pipe thread sealant. If you made a mistake and accidentally cut a little bit into the pipe threads, this is not a problem and you can use wicking and pipe dope to help seal the threads. I'll have a video linked in the description of how to do that. This technique I've demonstrated is a bit tricky and I only recommend using it as a last resort if you can't get a pipe fitting off using wrenches, penetrating oil, and heat because there is a risk that you'll damage the pipe. Still, I find it useful so I hope you will too. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and see you all next time.